Hello, welcome back to our beginner guitar lesson course at worshiptutorials.com. My name is Brian. In this lesson, we are going to learn a basic strumming pattern in 6-8 time. If you're just joining us here on YouTube and you'd like to learn how to play guitar, there is a link below and a link up here. It's the same link. It will take you to worshiptutorials.com to the course page where you can sign up for this course. It's completely free. Uh, it just organizes everything for you and it'll take you from beginning, never having picked up a guitar, all the way to playing full songs. If you want to stay on YouTube, no problem. Just subscribe to us if you'd like and you can get updated when we add more lessons. We're in the rhythm and strumming section, so we're getting close to the end. Um, a few lessons back, we learned about time signatures. We learned 4-4 four, four time, 3-4 time, 6-8 time. Those are the most uh, common time signatures you're going to see in sort of modern Western pop rock music, as well as contemporary worship music, if that's uh, what you play. So we learned a 4-4 four, four pattern in the last lesson. Uh, and I'm briefly going to go over how to count in 6-8 time. So instead of counting to 4, for 4-4, four, four, you count to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you tap your foot, you tap like this. Down, press, up. Down, press, up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, if I'm going really fast over all this counting and measures and all that stuff, go back to those previous lessons and it will clear everything up for you. Okay, so now that we've gone over counting briefly, here is the strumming pattern. I'll count it out. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, slow it down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a cyclical kind of a pattern, so it starts and it just kind of keeps going and going. It doesn't have a defined start and end, it just keeps going forever. In most songs in 6-8 time that we do, uh, that I play personally, this strumming pattern is pretty much what you play. Um, it's It kind of covers a lot of songs. Certainly not every song, but a lot of songs it's going to work for you. Uh, a few things to watch out for when you practice this. Try and make your motion smooth. So you don't want to hear this, although you might when you first start out, and that's okay. But you don't want to hear this. You want it to be smooth. What I do to accomplish that sort of smoothness in the strumming is I keep my hand going in this uh, rhythm the whole time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So when I play it, watch my hand and you'll see that it really never stops moving. as opposed to this. I like to keep my hand going in time. I do that pretty much all the time when I play. It really helps keep things um, fluid. That's a good word for it. It's a little bit harder to do when you first start out, and I'm gonna talk about it more in a few lessons when I talk about um, kind of more rhythm and dynamics and that kind of thing. But really practice that if you're having a problem with, uh, with it sounding kind of jerky. Don't do that, what I just did, and that was like get a vice grip on your pick and really stiffen everything up and move at your elbow. Make sure you keep your wrist kind of loose. You want most of your motion coming at your wrist and not in your elbow. Um, and let the pick just kind of glide over the strings. You don't want to, you don't want to bash it. You want to be more delicate than anything with this. Another thing that you can practice as you practice this pattern is switching chords. So play, for example, a G. We know pretty much all the chords we need to know to play a whole bunch of songs at this point. We've been through the chord building phase, um, but you can switch a chord. So play G for two measures. Two, three, four, five, six. And then switch to C. Then switch to D if you want. 
it doesn't really have to be G to C to D. It can be whatever chords you want. Just practice switching. And that should be enough to, uh, to get you going for a little while. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about more patterns in 4-4 time and 6-8 time. Um, and then we're going to talk about kind of uh, playing with dynamics, which is really important. If you watch the tutorial videos at Worship Tutorials or on the channel, I always talk about playing with dynamics. It's extremely important when it comes to your rhythm and your strumming. So stay tuned for those. Good luck. I'll see you in the next lesson.